All right, guys, so welcome back to Invest with Krentz. And today we're going to be talking about HCMC and whether I believe this stock can go to $1. But before I get into this video, if you could please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. It should not be red. It should be gray because you don't want to miss out on those buying opportunities. And also hit that notification bell so you can alert when I do post my videos. So a few weeks ago, I gave you guys an alert for Alpine for Technologies at $2.30. And Alpine for Technologies saw highs of $9.25. I also gave the alert for Torchlight Energy Resources Incorporation to symbol TRCH at $1.50 and after hours this stock sits at $3.37 and I also gave you guys the alert for Sandal Growers at $0.70 cents. and this stock touched highs of $3.10. So do make sure you are subscribed so you get into these stock picks very, very early. As you can see here, all the stocks I've mentioned here have returned 100% plus, some 150%, some even 200%. So you don't want to miss out on these brand opportunities and I also have a free Discord. The link is below in the description and it's also down in the comments. I do have brand opportunities every single day there. So recently I told the members about Vizlink Technologies, ticker symbol VISL. I gave the alert at $2.30 and I gave a second alert at $2.50 and now Vizlink Technologies sits at $4.20 and saw highs of $5. So that is another 100% return right there for those who got into this play. So make sure you do join the Discord, it is free of charge. And I'm also doing a 10K to 100K challenge in the Discord. So my aim is to reach 100K by December. So 10 months to go from 10K to 100K. Currently I'm sitting on 11K. I started with 3K in January and I've tripled that in the space of six weeks. So I went from 3K to 10K in the space of six weeks. And now the aim is to go from 10K to 100K by December. So make sure you do join the Discord and see how I achieve this. So I know many of you are aware why HCMC has gained a lot of investor attention recently, and this is due to the lawsuit. So HCMC are suing Philip Morris International, tick symbol PM, over patent infringement. The lawsuit was originally filed back in November 2020, but has recently gained attention due to the likelihood of HCMC winning this lawsuit and also due to the high risk reward potential it provides for many investors. And I do feel like this has investors taking interest in the company as they speculate it could win the lawsuit against Philip Morris, and they have until February the 26th to respond. So I do feel like they will respond before then. So everyone's just waiting for February the 26th. And I do feel like until February the 26th, the price of HCMC will continue going up until we hear about the results of this lawsuit. And HCMC are seeking damages from Philip Morris International. And the lawsuit alleges that Philip Morris infringed on its patent 170 with its IQOS vapor tobacco product. And I do have a more detailed video on HCMC. So I'll link it down below in the description for those of you who want to check it out. And also I do believe HCMC HCMC will win this lawsuit for various reasons and one of them is because the CEO he used to work in the legal sector and has over 20 years of experience in the legal sector so I'm sure with his expertise he's pretty confident that HCMC will win this lawsuit and they're also being represented by Coles and O'Connor one of the country's top law firms and they are known for their very high success rates in settling cases. In November 2020 Coles and O'Connor was named law firm of the year 2020 by the legal intelligence sir. and I do not feel like a big law firm like Coles and O'Connor would take on any case they were not confident in winning and this is why I feel like Philip Morris will settle because Coles and O'Connor will need to maintain their reputation so I don't feel like any law firm with a high reputation like Coles and O'Connor will go into a case knowing that they might not win the case I do feel like they have to be confident they will win the case in order to take it on and the settlement will be in the range of one to three billion dollars however I do feel like they will settle for around 1.5 billion dollars and currently the share price of HCMC sits at 0.4 cents so that is 0.004 dollars I do feel like we could see one cent very very soon or higher I feel like the max we might see for this stock is 10 cents 5 to 10 cents I believe is the maximum we'll see for this stock right now and I don't feel like this stock will go to one dollar just yet for various reasons and this is because the major catalyst being the lawsuit means that this price is already priced in a lot of the share price of this stock is already priced into this lawsuit. So this is why I don't feel like this stock can go to $1. A lot of people have already bought into the stock early, anticipating that Philip Morris will settle and HCMC will win this lawsuit. And realistically, the company will need to have a market cap of $100 billion in order to see a price of $1 per share. And I do feel like this is very far-fetched. 
and unreasonable at this time so i don't feel like this is attainable just yet and also people are saying that they can buy back the shares in order to increase the share price and i do feel like this is true they can buy back the shares however they have no need to buy back the shares if the total value out in the market is less than 50 percent of the total shares however a company might buy back their shares if they feel like the market has discounted its shares too steeply to invest in itself or to improve its financial ratios so this has grounds for them buying back their shares which could send the share price to higher highs. However, this could be a new beginner for HMC in order to rebrand and grow their business after the settlement. They have to take advantage of this situation, especially with a strong investor interest. I do feel like like Alpine Court Technologies did, they took advantage of the investor interest and used that to their advantage in order to grow the business. And I do feel like HCMC have to do the same here. I do feel like if they can do this, maybe in the near future, we could see the stock at higher highs, I do feel like we could see 20 cents or even 30 cents for the stock. HCMC is currently in the top three most watched stocks right now. And I do feel like with a lot of new investors looking to buy into the stock, due to the high risk reward ratio, we could see the stock creeping up throughout the week. I do feel like we could see 0.7 to 0.8 cents this week for the stock leading up to this lawsuit. So I do feel like for those of you in right now, you can easily double your money from current levels. And for those looking to buy in, I do feel like this is a good time to buy in. The stock was down 14%. And I do feel like this is a good time to capitalize if the stock doesn't rally on market opening tomorrow. However, you also need to manage your risk very well because if the stock was to shoot up after they won the lawsuit, people want to take the profits because you have to remember, people are up 500%, 1,000%, 1,500%, 2,000%. And next week, people could be up 3,000 or 4,000%. I do feel like a lot of people will be happy with their profits and will start to sell. So we can see a dip in the stock. And this is because for someone to sell a stock, somebody else has to buy the stock. However, if everyone wants to take profits at the same time, and no one will be looking to buy the stock, especially with the lawsuit being the only catalyst. After the lawsuit, there's nothing else going for HCMC. I know many people have tried to say that they are a business, they have many shops open and they have products as well. And this is true. However, a lot of people aren't looking at this company for the long term. A lot of people aren't thinking about the long term future for this company. A lot of people just want quick profits. So even though there's a future for HMC, a lot of people aren't in for the long term. So you have to think about this as well. And I'm just saying this because of the GameStop and AMC situation. I know many of you thought that GameStop and AMC do have futures. However, a lot of people want in GameStop and AMC for the long term. Even though AMC are due to open back when the coronavirus pandemic dies down, a lot of people were in AMC for the short term. And as you can see, a lot of people did lose a lot of money from GameStop and AMC. So I'm just telling you guys, so the same thing doesn't happen here. I know many of you are looking for some quick money here. However, you have to manage your risk very well and not get too greedy. I know many of you thought AMC would shoot up and continue to go up and up and up. And you believed what you saw on Reddit and from Wall Street Bets. However, a lot of you are at losses right now due to this and I do feel like it is key to manage your risk very well whenever you are in profit it is good to take your profits where you can because with AMC I know a lot of you were up a lot of you were up 20 30 40 50 100 percent and you didn't take your profits and AMC came crashing all the way back down into single digits so I do feel like many of you wouldn't want to make that same mistake again so I'm just here to tell you why you should take profits along the way if the share price does shoot up because not everyone is gonna hold it long term. I know people are talking about Diamond Hand holding AMC to the moon. However, people did just wanna take the profits where they could. If you're up 100%, 200%, 300% in a matter of a week, who wouldn't want to take the profits? Everyone is gonna to want to take the profits and the same thing I believe will happen here. So of course, at these current levels, it is still a buy. However, you do have to be very, very cautious. Once the price does shoot up, a lot of people will be tempted to take the profits. As you saw here, the stock price went from 0.006 all the way to $0.004. This is due to the sharp increase in just the space of a day or two. A lot of people saw that sharp increase of 100%, 200% and decided, I just wanna take my profits now. And this is why the stock was down 14% on Friday. So I do feel like we could see the same thing happening here on the next spike regarding the stock. So again, guys, it's good to manage your risk. You always have to be cautious in the stock market in order to lose money. And don't be kicking yourself if the stock price does continue to go up, because remember, you haven't looked at any profits until you've actually sold the stock. So be happy with your 100%, 200%, 1000%, 2000% profit there, and just take it. There is no need to keep riding the stock till $1, because right now it is not gonna touch $1. There are a lot of outstanding shares out there, and do you feel like they have to confirm that they're buying back the shares 
for the stock to even reach close for the stock to even reach 50 cents so do keep that in mind and do take profits along the way i believe this is the best way to approach it as i said you don't want another situation like gamestop and amc where a lot of people are at big losses so again guys if you did enjoy this video please smash that like button subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for the latest buying opportunities so as you can see from my 10k to 100k challenge you can see that i've started from 3k i've turned that into 11k and now the step is to go from 11k to 100k by december so do join in on this journey if you want the link is below in the description join the free discord and i also have buying opportunities every single day